Hi, this is Liz. Welcome to my channel. Today is another tutorial video on how to transfer your ebook to your Kindle wirelessly. So, without further ado, let's start. If you just bought your Kindle, it will prompt you to sign into your Amazon account. So, it is best if you already have an account with Amazon. All you need to do is to go to Amazon.com and sign up. The registration is free. The reason why I'm telling you this because once you set up your Kindle, Amazon will give you a unique email address. This email address is where you'll send the ebook files wirelessly. So it is important to know that your Kindle should have a wireless capability. As you can see, my Kindle has this wireless icon. It has the wireless feature so for me to send the ebook files wirelessly. So yes, let's start. I am going to show you how to, to, to check the email address that Amazon provided me. Okay, so first you need to click the three dots here, the bottom or the upper right hand corner of the screen. Click this one and click on the settings. Here you go. The top you will see there your account. Click this. And at the bottom, you will see there send to Kindle email. So as you, was, as you can see here, it's a very long email address. When I signed up to Amazon, I used my personal email address, which was you will find me at gmail.com. And when I set up my Kindle, they added this underscore M7ZE76 at Kindle.com. So this long email address is where you'll send the ebook files wirelessly. So now I'm very excited. I'm now going to show you how to transfer the ebook file to your Kindle wirelessly. Here you go guys, I am on my personal email address. So for us to transfer your your ebook file to your Kindle, you need to log into your email. So we're going to, po to compose an email for this. So just click on compose, click on this, and you need to, to send it to the email address that I've shown you a while ago, the long one, the email address that was uh, provided by Amazon. There you go. It auto populated because I've sent a lot of ebooks already. But I remember in my first time, I really had to literally type the characters and the letters one by one, just to be sure. So to set your expectation, you might also need to do that. Okay. And for the subject, just leave it as is. Just leave it blank. For you don't, you also didn't need to put a body to the email. All you need to do is to attach the file. I already downloaded a file here from Daniel Steele. It's a property of Noble Woman. As you see, it is a Mobi format. So for Kindle, it should be Mobi format. So click that one. Let's attach this. It's already there. It should be perfect. That's it. So I'm going to send this file now. Send this message without a subject or text in the body. Sure, no problemo. Let's click OK. All right, here you go. It's already sent. It's on my ascent of folder. Let's check my Kindle. It's or if it's already here. So this will also depend on your internet speed. See, it's wireless. There's no cord at all. Let's wait for that. Perfect, mamma mia. Perfect, it's downloading as you can see here, it's doing its action. It's downloading. That's it, it's done. Easy peasy, guys. That's how you transfer a file from your laptop to your Kindle wirelessly. So I hope that you learned something on this uh, video and you can share this with, with your friends who, have, who also has Kindle. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.